Hi there, my name is Emily Vavra, and I've been involved with Isogenics for nine years. In the beginning, I found it really frustrating to try to figure out how to get people to take a look at Isogenics, how to invite people to events. It really was overwhelming to me, and it might be to you as well. So I'm here today to share with you just how simple it is, because inviting is really the main part of our business. In fact, it's 80% of your business, so you really need to learn to master the skill of inviting. Inviting to take a look at Isogenics to try our products, inviting to learn about the wealth building opportunity, and inviting to corporate events. Since I learned to master this skill, I've been able to become, with a lot of hard work, a top income earner in this business. But I will tell you that I started from nothing. I started this business with a hope and a prayer and I saw the vision. So let's get into it. First and foremost, you need to learn how to share Isogenics with people and how to get them to take a look at Isogenics. You have to invite people in to take a look. So the tool I love to use is isomovie.com when I'm trying to share Isogenics with people. But before I ever send anyone anything, you know, before I talk about our shakes, our cleanse, before I talk about our wealth building opportunity, I simply love to connect with people. And what I do is tell them why I thought of them. Again, I start my conversation after I find someone that I believe would be good at isogenics or I believe simply needs it, whether it's our products and our wealth building opportunity, I t tell them, I thought of you because. Okay, so say it with me. I thought of you because. One more time. I thought of you because. And I simply speak from my heart. I don't overcomplicate it. I tell them why I thought about them. That is exactly what I do. I thought of you because you're a busy mom just like me, working you know, long hours, trying to make ends meet. I thought of you because you have such a great personality and you're so positive at work, you seem like someone I'd like to work with. I thought of you because I see you always at the gym, crushing it, I know if you looked at our products, you would love what they do scientifically. I thought of you because I remember in college, you were somebody who was deeply passionate about people and leadership. And that's exactly what, what I'm a part of. I thought of you because I saw you last week and you looked really sad. And I can tell for a while now that you've been struggling to find your purpose in life. I thought of you because you have told me over and over again that you've been struggling with gaining natural energy. I thought of you because you were a massage therapist just like me who trades time for money. And I want to show you a way to create wealth. I thought of you because. So I hope you get my example. Now again, it has to be personal, right? We're in this world right now in this busy time where everybody's trying to sell someone something. So you have to personalize it and truly speak your truth to that person. I thought of you because. Then the next step is, if I would you. Again, say it with me. If I would you. So I thought of you because, and then if I would you. If I showed you a way, would you be open to taking a look at it? If I sent you a video, would you be open to taking a look at it? If we met for coffee, would you be open to giving me 30 minutes of your time? If I, would you? Constantly asking for permission before we send someone a tool from isamovie.com, before we invite someone, I'm always asking if I, would you? I saw you at the gym and you seemed really tired. And I remember we were talking and you just kept talking about lack of time and lack of energy. I could not help but think I need to invite you into what I'm doing right now. So if I sent you a video, would you be open to taking a look at it? And depending on what you think from the video, we can jump on the phone and I'd love to discuss further. So I thought of you because if I would you. This is what I do every single day when I'm inviting people to take a look at Isogenics. 
it really, really works if you speak from your heart, if you make it personal, and if you make it all about them. So again, 80% of our business is inviting people to take a look at Isogenics, inviting them to take a look at a, a video, but then really the next step is inviting them to come to an in-home, inviting them to come to an opportunity meeting that might be in a hotel, what have you, right? And it's in, truly inviting people into a smaller Isogenics event which I believe is the most powerful thing you could do is invite someone in in real life and sit with them and have them see Isogenics in the flesh. I, I believe that that's one of the best things you could ever do to build your business. But some people say to me, hey, Emily, it's so hard for me to get someone to come over. It's so hard for me to get someone to come to my sip and sample. I can't seem to get someone to the opportunity meeting. I hear this over and over again. And what I always ask and what I wanna ask you right now is, are you personalizing it? Are you inviting them to come? telling them why, why you thought of them, telling them you know, how much it would mean if you came just to look at it. So I always tell people, you know, this may or may not be for you. However, it is for a lot of people just like you. I would love for you to come over Tuesday night, seven o'clock. We're gonna have great food and you're gonna meet a lot of cool people. Just come, take a look, may or may not be for you. If it's not for you, I'll never talk to you about it again. But it may just be for you. Would you be open to coming over on Tuesday night at seven o'clock? It's just that simple, right? So again, I'm telling them why I thought about them. If I would you, if I invited you, would you come? And I'm just asking them to come. It's really that simple. We go to work to overcomplicate it. So constantly when I'm doing an in-home, I let people know that it's a private event. You know, that exclusivity factor is massive. So I invite people in, it, it's a private event. I want you to come, there's limited space. These are all words I use because it is exclusive. Not anyone and everyone is invited, right? But it goes a long way if you personalize it. What I have found in the network marketing space is people like to just throw things on social media and pray that someone comes, okay? I have been guilty of that myself. Okay, I'd be lying if, I, if, if it wasn't the truth, right? But when you personalize it and reach out, reach out to a person and say, hey, I'm having an event on Wednesday. I'm having a Wellness Wednesday event. I thought of you because you're pregnant right now and you know I've noticed that you've been struggling with your energy and you even mentioned not knowing what you were gonna do after you give birth in terms of work. So I just couldn't help but think of you. I know it's forward but would you wanna come over on Wednesday? Limited space, uh, but we do have space for you. Come over, see what it's all about. It may or may not be for you. Just come check us out. Okay, so you can see just how simple that is. Again, I'm looking at whoever I'm talking about and I'm putting myself in their shoes. Okay, that is the art of connection. So it's not about me and my vision and what I wanna do with Isogenics. It's about the person I'm talking to. And it's trying to find that connection and inviting them in. Okay, so it's really just that simple. I hope you're really getting this right now. Are you getting this right now? So then the next step, so obviously we've got inviting people to take a look at ISA movie, you know, doing, you know, whether it be a Zoom conversation, a phone call, what have you. It's then the gradient of, of events would be getting them into an in-home or a local opportunity meeting. And then the next event is the big event, right? Which would be one of our core four events. University in Action, Isogenics University, New Year kickoff, celebration. I work so hard to get people to come to these events. Why? Because I know when they're there, they can see all of Isogenics. They can see people just like them walking across the stage they get the skills they need to truly learn how to grow this business if they put the work in. So I work so hard at inviting people to events. Now again, some of you have told me, you have told me before, that it's hard for you to get people to come. And I just wanna ask you, are you personalizing the invitation? Are you speaking to them and telling them why they should come to New Year kickoff? or asking them to come. Because what I have found a lot of times is people don't even know they're invited to the party. 
I've had people message me and say, I, I didn't know that I could join Isagenix. I didn't know that it was network marketing, nor do I even understand what that is. So we can't make assumptions. You have to personalize it. So what I love to do is go down my back office, go into my Isagenix back office, and I like to look at people on my team and call them. Yes, call them. And if they don't answer, I, I voice message them. And I might say, hey, John, how are you? I see you've been rocking the ISA life for a while now on your products. I love watching your progress on Facebook. Hey, we're having an event this January right after the holiday. And it truly changed my life the first time I went to one of these big events. I know that you'd, you would experience so much energy if you came to this event. You would see really the big picture of what Isagenix is. Would you like to come with me along with some of my team in January to New Year kickoff? I can send you more details if you're open. So again, I'm asking. I'm asking them to take a look at whatever event I'm trying to invite them to. But I'm really edifying the event before I invite them. You know, if I was inviting someone to celebration, like I invited a lot of people to this past celebration and I'm now inviting them to the next celebration, right? I'm letting them know to save the date. And hey, this is where we're all going together. You're not in this alone. Everyone is going to be there. And I would love for you to see everything Isagenix has to offer you. I would love for you to meet some really cool people that I've aligned myself with that have has helped me become a better person and has just given me so much more life and purpose. Would you come to Nashville? Would you come with us? If I sent you more information, would you be open to taking a look at it? I'm just coming at them with why I think they should come. Um, and I'm sending them more info from isogenicsevents.com. Once they say, yes, Emily, I'm interested, send me more info, then I'm gonna send them more info. But after every single meeting I do, okay? So first I reach out, reach out. I thought of you because, and then once we start a conversation, if I sent you more information, would you take a look at it? So again, I'm asking permission. And once they've seen isogenics, Okay, and I enroll them into Isagenix, I'm then inviting them to an event. Okay, we're in the business of inviting. Just like you would invite someone over for, to dinner, you would invite people you know, to a party, it's no different, you're just inviting them in. And it's really okay if they say no, or if they say I'm busy, because it might not be a priority to them if they don't really know what this can be for them, K-N-O-W, if they don't know what Isagenix can be, it's not going to be a priority for them yet. And that's quite all right. I've gone through thousands of no's in this business. Thousands of people have said, no, I can't, I can't come tonight. No, I can't come to the big event. No, I can't come to your sip and sample. No, I'm not interested. And guys, it's okay. It's totally okay if someone tells you no. It means just not yet and you move on and you keep inviting more and more and more people and you don't take it personal, right? Never take it personal. So keep inviting, you know, really master the art of connection and remember it's all about the person you're talking to. You're simply just offering them something and it's up to them if they say yes or no. It's just like if I was in an elevator right now, if we were in an elevator and there was five people, okay, and I was having a piece of gum or a Tic Tac, whatever your jam is, okay, I would, you know, put it in my mouth and then I'd probably feel kind of rude if everyone is standing next to me and I didn't offer them a piece of gum. So I'm gonna be offering them a piece of gum. And John might say no, and Sally might say yes, and Jesse might say no, and either way, it's no big deal. I'm not gonna take offense to it. But I'm gonna get excited about the person that definitely said yes, and I'm gonna support them on this journey and teach them exactly what I'm teaching you today, which is the art of inviting. Again, it's 80% of your business. So who have you shared the isogenic story with today? Who have you invited today? to take a look at Isagenix. That's constantly what I'm asking myself. Who have I invited to take a look today? That's really what this business is truly all about, is inviting people to take a look at our products, our opportunity, our culture, okay? And they're either gonna say yes or they're gonna say no, okay? But I really believe that the best people 
that build their businesses, truly master the art of inviting. And they keep the main thing the main thing, which is the person that you're talking to. It's all about them. And when you do that, people will not feel like they're being sold something. They're gonna feel like they're truly invited into something. No one wants to be sold anything, okay? So you want them to be educated and then let them decide if Isogenics is good for them. So go out there, invite people like crazy, start practicing connecting with people. And let me just tell you right now, I am an introverted person. Okay, so I learned, I know what you're thinking, because you might be saying, Emily, I'm not bubbly, or I don't know exactly what to say and how to say it. But just think to yourself, why did I think about this person right now? And tell them why you thought about them. And then simply ask them to take a look. It's not about you and it's not about me, okay? It's about the person. We can do this, we can totally do this. So go out there and connect, and I wanna hear how you're doing. Thank you so much.